welcome back to my channel guys this is 24 7 gaming and today I'll be showing you how to merge the F1 wheels on to any car and you can keep the modded paint off that car so the first thing we need is we need to spawn in the bunker as you can see in the video I spawned at the bunker and you have to make your way to the arena make sure you open the interaction menu and check your inventory why because we need snacks for this glitch too if you don't have the snacks you can stop by at the convenience store or you can go to your office and buy some snacks and then you have to make your way to the arena and these are the only five requirements we need for this entire glitch Help me achieve my goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers by the end of January 2020, please and thank you. So once you're at the arena guys, you have to simply enter the arena on foot. So once we are in the arena, we have to make our way to the cars and also we need all the three cars in the arena workshop level all right so the fagio that was on the requirements list you must have it in the arena one and then this car that we are taking the mods from which is this truck right here everon we need this in the arena and we need the third car so any car out of these should be also in the arena all right so the only thing I'm missing here is the Fagio Sport. What I'll do is I'll open the browser and request a Fagio Sport right now and buy one and start the glitch. So as you can see guys, my Fagio Sport has been delivered. So I have this Fagio Sport, which is a very important part of this glitch. And I have this car from which I'm transferring the wheels from and then I'll be transferring these wheels onto this car right here so this is gonna get my F1 wheels and I'll still be able to keep this blue paint instead of this red paint all right so the first thing first you have to do is you have to hop on this Fagio and you have to hit right on the d-pad and take it to the mod shop Once you're in the mod shop, press the circle button and exit the vehicle. Once you exit the vehicle, you have to stand the same way as I'm standing in the video and you have to open the interaction menu, go to inventory and start eating snacks. So as you can see guys, the first snack that I ate, the wrapper just dropped close to the back wheel and that's what we want for this glitch. So we want to drop these wrappers, the boxes, the empty boxes of the snacks close to the back wheel of the Fagius port. The purpose of doing so is that if we push the Fagius from the other side, the back wheel is going to hit these boxes and is going to drop on the floor. And that's what we want. So as you can see, I dropped a couple of boxes off the snacks close to the back wheel of the Fagio, And right now I'll go on the other side. What I have to do now is open the interaction menu, go to inventory snacks, and then eat one snack, which is P and Q. And as soon as you see him eating the snacks, press and hold the X button and move forward. So you have to eat snacks and move forward at the same time, guys, all right? You don't have to leave the X button. So right now also, I am holding the X button, all right? So this did not work guys so what I can do is I can drop this here right here so as you can see the snacks are on the other side of the Fagio now because I was not able to drop it so I'll push it from this side onto the other side and it's always good to push it from the middle guys right there you can look at the fagio now it is dropped on the floor what you have to do now is you have to push it out to this point right here in the middle and just outside this black line all right just outside this black line 
and the best way to push this Fagio support guys is from the front so I have rotated this Fagio in such a way that the back faces the entrance and it's gonna be easy for us to push it like this So as you can see guys, I pushed it just outside this line right here and it's in the middle. So this is perfect guys. So keep it close to this black line and keep it in the middle. All right. So push it in such a way that when you pick up the Fagio, it's right close to this black line and in the middle of this entrance. All right. So if you did it correctly, guys, you will get only one option on the left hand side of the screen. But if you did not, you will get two options. We don't want two options. We only need one option that says press right to modify your vehicle. All right. From here, guys, what we have to do is we simply get off of the Fagio and then you have to hop in the vehicle that you want to mod. So this is the car that's receiving all the mods. So I'll be hitting the right on the D-pad guys and I'll take this vehicle in the mod shop. As you can notice in the video guys, while I was driving this car inside the workshop, this car right here pushed my Fagio inside the workshop which is very very good. That makes my life so much easier. That's why I ask you to keep the Fagio right here so that whenever you move the car, whenever you bring the car inside the workshop, it pushes the Fagio in. So now all we have to do is we have to hop on the Fagio and we'll get two options. We simply have to hit the right on the D-pad, repair vehicle and exit the workshop. Once we exit the workshop guys, all we have to do is we have to hit right on the D-pad again and take the Fagio back to the workshop. So once the Fagio is back in the workshop guys, all you have to do is you have to hop in this vehicle right now and hit right on the D-pad and then repair vehicle if you don't get repair vehicle sign that's fine you just have to press circle and exit the vehicle all right so all the mods have been copied already and they are with me and i just have to apply these mods from that car that's already with me onto this faggy all right so what i have to do now is i have to open my phone and look for a job from gerald and when I hover over on this page, what I have to do is I have to press the pause button and hold it. And while holding it, I have to get ready up. So as soon as I release the pause button, I have to press X. So press and hold the pause button, release it and press X. All right, guys. So you will get a beep sound on the back, which means that you did it successfully. So from here, what you have to do is you have to close this menu. And as soon as you close it, you have to spam left on the d-pad as you can see all the mods were transferred on to that Fagio so everything from that car has been transferred as you can see the paint of the Fagio became blue from white right now we leave this Fagio here we don't touch it and we hop in this car right here so we need to transfer the mods from this car now on to our blue car so we are transferring the wheels basically so once we are inside the workshop guys all we have to do is we have to exit the vehicle and since all the mods are with me already what I have to do is I have to hop in this vehicle and do the same thing so I have to look for a job from Gerald hover over this page and then 
Press and hold the pause button and as soon as you release the pause button, hit X. And then same thing, you have to back out of this menu and start spamming left on the D-pad. If done correctly guys, you will see that all the mods will be transferred from that truck onto this vehicle. So simply hop back in this vehicle and hit right on the D-pad and take it back to the mod shop. Once it's back in the mod shop guys, you simply have to exit the vehicle and hop in the truck again and hit left on the D-pad. Once you hit the left on the D-pad, you will have to exit the vehicle and grab that Fagio that we were using in the first step and hit right on the D-pad. So take this Fagio in the mod shop and we don't have to get off of the Fagio guys, we have to keep sitting on the Fagio and from here what we have to do is we have to change the wheels and we need these types of wheels. So wheel types, front wheel, stock rims and we have to go on the old school wheels right here old school triple alright so you need to choose these wheels guys alright so once you choose these wheels you get off of the Fagio and then we'll transfer all the mods from this Fagio onto this car right here so do the same trick again open the phone hover over the job from Gerald press the pause button and release it and as soon as you release it press X and then back out and start spamming left on the d-pad now as you can see guys everything has been transferred you can check my car so I had yellow rims on this car I got yellow wheels that are the F1 wheels and I get to keep the paint job right so what we have to do from here is we have to hit the right on the d-pad guys and make some change so you can change the type of the wheel if you really want it or you can do any other modifications I'll be able to show it to you in two seconds once you're inside the mod shop guys what you have to do is you have to go to this menu and go to wheels go to tires and then once you go to tire designs you will see a number of designs here so you can pick one of your choice right I'll be picking up these ones these are really good I like them so this is how you put the formula one tires on the car guys so have fun with this glitch if you did enjoy this video leave a like share subscribe and comment this is your boy 24 7 gaming signing out peace